यू मे बी आस्क ए क्वेश्चन वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन फिल्टरिंग ए डेटा इन कैलकुलेट विद एंड विदाउट फिल्टर एक्सप्रेशन सो आई नीड टू एक्सप्लेन यू विच इज विद एंड विदाउट फिल्टर एक्सप्रेशन एंड सो फर्स्ट लेट मी रीड आउट द आंसर एंड देन आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू ऑन द पावर बी आई सो कैलकुलेट फंक्शन विदाउट अ फिल्टर एक्सप्रेशन यू डायरेक्टली अप्लाई फिल्टर टू द स्पेसिफिक कॉलम विद इन द कैलकुलेशन दिस मॉडिफाइज द फिल्टर कॉन्टेक्स एंड एफेक्ट हाउ द एक्सप्रेशन इज वैल्यूएटेड कैलकुलेट विदाउट अ फिल्टर एक्सप्रेशन अप्लाइज फिल्टर डायरेक्टली टू द कॉलम अल्टरिंग द फिल्टर कॉन्टेक्स एंड इम्पैक्टिंग द कैलकुलेशन प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस थिंग नाउ Using a filter expression with calculate function allows you to create filtered table based on a specific condition. This offers more flexible approach to defining the filter context and customizing how the calculation interacts with the data. Calculate with a filter expression construct a custom filter context by creating a filtered table based on the specific criteria and return value based on that. Now I need to showcase you the difference so that you understand and how the alternative could be created for without filter function so let me bring in brand and let me bring in net now let me create a major which i'm going to call net b1 and i'll say calculate net item brand equals to brand 1 so that's what i'm creating now let me create the second one and then we are going i'm going to bring both of them into the visualization I'm going to call it B2, and then I'm going to say filter item item brand one. So this is with filter, and the previous one was without filter. Okay. So net B1 and B2. So now there is an error. Okay, the parenthesis is wrong. So now this is your B1 and B2. Let me bring in both of them into the visual, and you will observe a difference. Now the B2 where I use the filter. is basically giving me only one row which is actually basically filtering out it's creating a filtered result now in the case where i use b1 it's actually showing me the brand one value but for all the brand so it has modified the context and it has giving me brand one value for all the entire column and this is only visible when you are using brand because if i go ahead and you know duplicate this visual and in this visual instead of brand i start using category i may not observe that difference because they both are behaving in the same manner now here this b1 what is its equivalent when i use the filter okay you may ask how i understand its behavior so to do that what you can do here basically is go to the net b2 copy this create a b3 major and here you say all item brand you are getting the same result so this is equivalent of that one we have put the filtering without using the filter function so if this question has been asked you have to explain and try to quote an example this is how it's going to behave 